So in this video, I'm going to show people how to make a fairly cheap solar wax melter. So I just went down to your local hardware store, got a piece of plexiglass, got a cheap cooler, got a pair of box cutters. And basically what I'm going to do is just cut the plexiglass down to size to fit over the top of the cooler and cut off the top of the styrofoam. So you can see here, I've cut off the top of the cooler um, just with the box cutters to leave a hole in the top, cut down the plexiglass to size, stuck it on top of the cooler, put the top back on. Um, this particular styrofoam cooler had these brackets to sort of secure the top on place so you get a good seal. Um, so when the sun hits it, you get that good greenhouse effect and really heats up the cooler. Then basically just need some plastic containers, put a little water in it so the wax doesn't stick when it melts through, put a paper towel on top and secure with a couple rubber bands. Now you can see me, you have the containers inside your cooler. And here is my wax that I've gotten from my first honey harvest, which has been washed of all the excess honey and dried. I'm just putting that on top of the paper towels, um, just on each one. And then as soon as you get enough on there, um, not too much so it doesn't actually bow down the paper towel into the water in the bottom, you'll just stick the plexiglass on top and just leave it in the sun pretty much all day. And this is the end result. Uh, it was 95 degrees here in Austin, Texas, so it um, pretty much melted the wax right through the paper towels. It took about, uh, I think about five, six hours. It was in direct sunlight the whole time. And it just basically melted all the way through. And here you see the end result. You've got beautiful yellow beeswax floating in the water, so it's easy to take out. And then you just sort of take that out, put it on paper towel to get all the excess water out. And then you're ready to use it for candles, lip balm, or lotion.